morning, Bella Vista! Today is Friday, December 12th, and here are your morning announcements. We would like to congratulate Bella Vista Competitive Cheer Squad. They qualified for nationals at their very first competition. We would also like to recognize our very own French teacher, Madame Nudites, for being named the National Language Teacher of the Year by the American Council of Teaching Foreign Languages. Bon travail. If you missed the track and field sign-up meeting, you can still sign up with Coach U during the day. Or sign up at bvtrack.com. Shop at the Barnes & Nobles on Sunrise to help raise funds for the library. From today to the 14th, purchase nooks, books, DVDs, and more. Just say it from Bella Vista at the register and show your BV pride. Remember, we have modified schedules for the finals next week. Remember to check them on the website. After school tutoring is available in the library from 310 to 410, Monday through Wednesday. Now, for your weekend weather report from Michael Black. Hello, Bella Vista. As you probably already know, we are in a storm of biblical proportions. Flood alerts and high wind advisories have been issued throughout the region. The storm has caused damage to our state's road infrastructure among other things. <clears throat> On the bright side, if you're still alive by this weekend, the rain will probably be over. Make sure to plan your outdoor activities this weekend, as the rain is likely to return next week. Oh, and guys, be gentlemanly. Make sure you give your jackets to the ladies, so that they don't get wet. Thanks, Michael. Now, your outside news from Nick. Governor Jerry Brown's plastic bag ban may be in jeopardy by Signature Drive. However, Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson hopes for a citywide ban on free plastic bags given out at stores and pharmacies. No law has been acted locally as of now. What do you think? On the nationwide level, the U.S. public debt recently reached $18 trillion. This is over $56,000 per U.S. citizen and over $153,000 for every American taxpayer. A frightening statistic as American debt has grown exponentially in recent years. Shrinking gas prices in North America may cause economic decline in Russia and the Middle East. As oil production has gone up, the price has dropped to around $65 a barrel. Many Middle Eastern countries are trying to diversify their economies in an effort to avoid major financial decline. Russia, already being hit by international sanctions, is still predicting economic growth of 1% for 2014. Thanks, Nick. There's a lot happening these days. That's all for now, Bella Vista. We're going to leave you with upcoming clubs and sports. Have a great day.